So basically, to get stairs in, you need to get it plumb this way, both sides, which it is, but you also need to get that level, and that isn't. So what you've got to do is create a happy medium. So you, it won't be plumb, but it will be thereabouts on all of them. Yes. Yeah, well, we got, we know we got a situation with this trimmer that this trimmer is not level, so we're gonna try to pack it up and do our best. And as Dan said, we're gonna try to get a happy medium, you know. So obviously, if it's a millimeter out, no one's gonna feel it when they walk on. But you know, we try to get it all, you know, close to perfect. But that's just us. And not everyone's the same. So yeah, that's uh, that's what we try to do. And yeah, we try to get them in. And then we need to build that landing after. So we have a shot of small flight. So you'll have landing here. Yeah. And then a small flight down there. So, we managed to get it level this way, and but we'll also show you that there is a slight rock, and you now it's not 100%, but they're never 100% to be fair, straight, there's always something, human error, so that is, you know, near enough, so that's the happy medium we're after, it's not bad at all. You know, it's it's not perfect, but it's not bad. So we're gonna stick to this. So this is where we're gonna have this flight of stairs. Um, we can screw the top now into the trimmer. Through the front, face the face of the plywood. So we got trimmer there. So we'll do that, and then um, yeah, we're gonna work on this part. We can show something. So if you ever have a problem with squeaky, creaking stairs, these are the blocks you need to put, a stick, that stops from that and that moving, so they lock itself in. And obviously it screws here, hold the riser. So yeah, that's what you need to now check. And also sometimes I had the stairs which were old and these, because obviously stairs dry, then them need to be knocked back in. So these don't get uh, glued, they just knocked in. Usually, well, they have actually glued these, but that is, you know, your adjustment basically to tie it all in. So that's another tip, basically, what you could use if you've got a flight of stairs, which is um, squeaking. So what we'll do here, we'll build a, we will build a, a wall here uh, so that flight stair sits on it so let's show this is the uh, when you fit stairs for your stairs you need double timber and um, it's called trimmer so that we need to have obviously don't pack it with the batten that's what we're gonna change that for um, a four by two packer cut on a saw we'll put it on a bit later um, so yeah that's what you need to have um, to take stairs. Uh, I will put fixings through the face of it, face of ply, because that's the strongest part to hold our stairs in. in a way yeah. a good thing about plywood it's really nice and strong so it can be sure it won't move it's really good material for stuff like this 
Well, that's front fixed, so that's not gonna move. Props or supports so we can uh, line these through, and this obviously you saw we build a stud. There will be another one going further, but we'll find out where we're having cupboard first under stairs cupboard, and then we'll build that to support so it doesn't have a spring in a staircase. And so, yeah, now we need to build a platform or landing call as you want um, and for that we'll use 4 by 2 studs and then plywood as a base and that will be that and then is uh, partition walls to build uh, walls into the um, room here under there well that's not a room that's gonna be office but yeah
done so there will be a storage underneath the stairs which is always handy so this is one storage space and then there will be another one here once we build the wall a cupboard so hope you enjoyed that all we got to do is put a plywood on top and that's it that's done and then we need to build our stud walls up and handles will obviously follow after that that will be last really job after plastering is done and painting and stuff so it's one of the last jobs but yeah hope you enjoyed it so that's how it looks